Hello and welcome back to our Hearts of Iron 4 campaign where we are hopefully finally gonna take an end to it this week. I don't know. We'll have to see what we get. I think the big question is mostly. Yeah, sure, give it to him. Um, the uh, Japanese question. Uh, with Japan, if we can get Japan out of the way, then it is all over. I think mostly. Well, of course, we still have to hit the big ass threat that is Peru, because Peru is, of course, a major. Does that make sense? Uh, how much did they intel? They have a small amount of manpower. Okay, they're already running out of equipment, so let's just keep up the pressure. It will, uh, we will start eventually winning some battles. Um, I think I should put you on a little bit less aggressive, though, because I don't really want to sacrifice my units. That seems to be not a good idea. Alright, so that's being worked on. I'm running out of fuel. That is a problem. So let's get some more fuel in. There we go. I need less steel apparently, so we'll remove that. I need more tungsten. Right, we were getting that from Portugal, but they have been joined the, with the fascist. There we go. And no longer need this. And I need a little bit more aluminium. Trade some with the United States, because apparently there are some trade interruptions in other spaces. Right, in the meantime, my armored cars and everything are driving fast. The game is hanging. Okay, German Russia capitulated. Alright, that's good. Just means that you guys need to go here. You guys need to just clean this up. Uh, you're on mildly more aggressive than I would like you to be right now. Yes, sir! Alright, so we've got a couple of troops remaining here now. What's going to happen probably is that we... Let's see... Yeah, so we've got a front here and here. That's a, a bit of an issue. Um, so I'm expecting some counter pushes. But at least most of our enemies are now out of the war. Now, if we can get... A lot of Italian places are already capitulated. Alright, let me just get rid of that one. If we go to miners, remove that. It's just Spain and Peru. If we can get Spain and Peru, the Axis War is done. Uh, remove capitulated. Yeah, and it's just Japan and the reorganized government of China on the other end. Alright, so Spain and the other um, Peru. And if that's done, we will be fine. Um... Right. Ready, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Just attack from here. We should be able to take that. Good equipment issues. Some support equipment and some rocket artillery. Alright, so we need to adjust the. Uh... No, we shouldn't really adjust. Also, I am no longer getting any infantry equipment. But that is an issue. So let's lessen the modern tank production a little bit. There we go. Alright. Um. Yes, sir. What I'm going to do is nothing much, really. Um, probably try to hold this um, as much as I can. Let the uh, AI clean up these small spots here, and we'll see how this uh, goes. We'll keep up slow pressure on here, because... Oh, what the hell do I still have the feeling that our stats are just total crap ass. It might be because like, all my troops are so attritioned to death that we just don't have any troop experience. That might be one of the reasons. Did we reinstate France? Okay, we did reinstate France. Just France just doesn't have any shit though. Okay, that's, that's fine. Um, it's a halt. Set halt. There we go. Very good. Very good. Um, right. Now you have a target, I believe. Yes. No, I was building some more rocket sites, wasn't I? Yeah, there we go. Two more. We're gonna just hit, keep hitting the different targets in uh, Iberia. Three dominant air zones that we can uh, 
keep hitting with these missiles. Also, apparently I've got a squadron of aircraft here, which I can set up over the south here, which might be a better idea. Construction. One of Franken's going to be ready. Alright. Um... We'll be fine. I just hope Peru gets sniped by the USA. That is a problem area otherwise. Uh, let's see. Let's get you to five more to fill up that. Uh, let's move this. And get our military police to... Yeah, that's okay. Um... Occupied territories. We got some resistance from the German Reich. Okay. For a local autonomy. Is that a good idea? It does give more compliance. Um, but it seems to be being suppressed correctly. So, okay. I think that's uh, not a bad idea to uh, try to get the locals to work with us. All right. I think this is just an extra rocket side in the same province, right? There's a limit of two. We are building on a second one here. We've got already a second one here. We've got a second one here, and I'm building one here, which I can probably build another one. Get it going. Alright, I don't care about any of these. Alright, there we go. Small cutter shells, naval things, right. That's the only real thing we could still work on, so. Alright, let's just do that. Landings are being made. Hopefully that at some point will work. It's magic. I also have a lot of troops that are claiming to not have any equipment. I really don't have... Yeah, I am... Okay, I'm not lacking some pure equipment. I thought I had more than enough equipment, but I might have blown through something somewhere. Quite a lot of it, actually. Um, right, how long is this going to take? 200 days. Yeah, we're 200 days, okay. okay. Alright, so this is all done. This is all done. Tactical strategic bombing is something we're we'll doing, so naval it is. Uh, did I finish researching the 944 carriers? Hell, I'm barely producing any ships as we speak. This is like, like by the way, the worst terrain for my armored cars to be. Order. So, I sent them to slightly worse terrain and sent them over here. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's be smart about this and just set them up like, I don't know, right around here. Mongolia is not a part of this war, right? No, so that's a natural border we can abuse. Ah, uh, I'm very sneezy, by the way. Holy shit. It's insane. All right, we got our new uh, missile installation. Let's start pumping in some rockets right around... Here. That will work. Some nice intercontinental ballistic missiles. 
what I'm not. He's noticed that I'm. Since, holy shit, like France. You've. Okay, so France hasn't lost any territory up until this point, right? And they're so poor in stockpile, it's insane. They have a decent amount of fucking factories. It's nuts. Is it manpower? Oh, it's manpower! They're out of manpower. Well, that might actually become a bite us in the ass. How is Japan on that front? Wait, somebody captured... Oh, no, that's just some of my territory. How are you in manpower, Japan? J Japan. You have more than enough available. Right? So France is out of manpower, so we'll call that a problem. The United States is... Gucci. Got 10 million men available. Right. We still have half a million dudes available. Which is a number that is rapidly decreasing for some reason. Like, how is our manpower shrinking? Like... I'm still mobilizing? My manpower numbers are shrinking rapidly. Are we losing that much air? Where are my casualties coming from? Holy shit. How? Of what? We're not attacking anywhere, but it's saying like, hey, you've lost... Our division was attacking, but I'm not attacking anywhere. What the hell's going on? Win ratio, 5%, yeah. No, it's still going down pretty damn fast. Is it ships? Like what mem is there a member number increasing? Like Air, 1.36, 7.4, Navy, we... It's not really shifting. Is it just attrition? Losing 9k a month due to attrition? And yeah, now we're all in defensives. Defensive. No, we still have got a couple of attacks from this month, and that's weird, because I'm not being attacking. I shouldn't be attacking. Alright, so let's set up a natural wall there. Now, I think we'll probably suffer mass amounts of attrition when we go there. Supply map mode, where are you? There we go, my bad. Yeah, and the uh, problem is local infrastructure, previous infrastructure. Alright, so we can fix a little bit of that. We're on the line here. Just upgrade this all by, by one. Not that much, by one. Put you back on the top, because that rocket is more important to me than anything else. Right, so these rockets, is, what is most their range? We're going to have to wait for one of them to be built. Alright, so... What is your... Everywhere. Right, so we can hit, like, the entire world from here, okay? So after the bombing of Japan... Ah, Japan, Jesus Christ. Spain, not even the same continent side of the planet. Alright, well, we can still start scraping the barrel if we're really desperate, but... Not that desperate yet. Uh, I just want my equipment ready. That's, uh, I think, more important right now that we get our troops to be supplied. So once again, a slowly meat-grinding war. It's surprising for me that I can... I just... I, I did the silent conquest thing with Germany. It was easy mode, right? You can just bash through everything. Like, your troops are fine. I'm using exact same templates, that kind of stuff. It was England. It's just like... No. You got nothing, mate. It's just... We're not gonna give you anything. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, crap. I mean, oh, and it made you turn. Alright. That's okay. Uh, how are we are on this mission? Okay, no one is captured. German Russian opportunity got captured. Can we start, like, destabilizing this country? Mass, I don't know, whatever it would be beneficial for us, like here. What, what can we do? Operations. Capture Cypher, infiltrate a lot of things, which infiltration doesn't really help. Planning false intelligence doesn't help either. Uh, 
Uh, wait, what? Why can I hit Moroccan? Oh, is this considered Moroccan? Okay. So this is not Spain, per se. Okay, good. Yeah, we can infiltrate certain parts, but we can't only use it to steal blueprints. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, preparing resistance contacts doesn't make any sense. I'm sounding incredibly nasally all of a sudden, because my nose just... Loath? Jesus. I'm not allergic to pollen, but, uh, Christ, you'd always say I am. I actually am not allergic to pollen. Like, I I've been tested it last year. I'm not allergic to anything that might cause this, but, uh, it's just... Occasionally, I'm getting incredibly sneezy and nasally and stuff. Make resistance contacts. But what kind of resistance do we have? Yeah, a little bit of French, but that's it. Preparing the infos... Uh, that doesn't help. Doesn't help. The only thing I can think of is organizing a coup, but if we look at the stability and everything, it's an 81, so I'm not even capable of destabilizing this country enough to organize a coup. How do I get free military factories? Like, genuinely, how do I get free military factories? I... Oh, right, we're getting more and more compliance from Germany. That's probably it. Uh... Yeah, we just passed this point here. It's fairly stable, in all honesty. That's pretty good. Uh, they'll rise up when you're above 90%, so we don't really expect any trouble. I might ask the Rush- the Americans- the Russians for some of the territory. Uh, like Hanover and this. I don't know, will you give it to me? Alright, cool. Because I don't think I can make compliant states. Because I think I don't have the tech for it or anything. You need something for it to, uh... Yeah, I can create collaborative governments. I don't think I can do that, but it would be something cool to do. Like, I don't know why I can't do it. It's uh, pretty odd that, that, that I can't. Um, it always goes to the neighboring, so I can do this one here. And this one here, and I will have all of it covered. That means that we, yeah, the pieces of Germany that we have. It also means that I can get these three in. Without any trouble. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh, ask for control of our states. These three. Let's see if they give them to us. Probably not. I, I doubt it. That they uh, will be that giving. Oh, they did accept it. Good. Alright, so we ha own... Um, this is almost the entirety of uh, West Germany. And do I have any... Let's see, can I build any more of these? No, I can't. Okay. Hey, we actually did do an expansion somewhere, so maybe I can actually build a... There we go. Lotham. And I'm actually going to remove one of you. I'll trade for it. That's fine. And I'll set up a little rocket group here. And just keep hitting them. So I have four of these now, right? Yeah. Wait, I've still got planes active over in that area. That's not right. We should be bombing here. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't be bombing those areas because I, like, I have genuinely no control over it. <laughs> uh, do I have any fighters in reserve? A lot of aircraft in reserve. Close air support. Still, like, Paradox, can you give me a button? Like, right here, maybe, like, click Fighter, or anything like that, instead of... Or, or just, I don't know, group them, for crying out loud. It's such an easy fucking feature to not scroll through an endless list of shit. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, I barely don't have any fighters in reserve either, so that doesn't really matter. Because, fuck me. I want more fighters. Let's see, we'll go like this. 
Uh, research. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. Not production, trade. I have got way too much chromium, so I don't need as much, so we'll trade a little bit less. And I need a little bit more tungsten from the United States, and I need a little more aluminium from the United States. Alright. Any news on our Asian campaign? Nothing is happening. Good. You have. How many ships? I don't know. About a lot. So let's have about 300. So you have about 300 ships. I have about 300 ships. So in theory, if I can get some proper fleet set up at some point, we could probably really easily capture that ship. Because okay, so this is all ours. It's good. So Venezuela fall, fell on. We could declare war on Colombia. I can't because they need to just fire. They haven't done anything. So we genuinely need to invade Peru, which is going to be an annoying son of a bitch to do. Great. And I'm still having equipment issues. Alright, well. Oh, uh, we dropped in compliance because we got some more states, of course, in. So if we. Yeah, okay, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Dictorial Xian King. Oh, whatever, man. I don't care. Alright, so. I was hoping that. Ah, the USA is doing fine here. Oh, okay, so we're, we're burning on Japan. That's good. Um, you know, we're putting the herd a little bit on them. Uh, they are... That's different country, but that's pretty good. The fact that they're scraping the barrel, I do not have that much. Uh, Japan is only on service by requirements, still has but three... No, that's still have about four million manpower remaining. Alright, well, let's just keep investing in the Navy, because, well, I guess at some point we need to build the biggest, baddest Navy that we can get. And, yeah. I think that might be important. Uh, yes, I'm also going to build some heavy ships. I'm think I think I'm just going to build like, an entire proper Navy at some point. <laughs> The Netherlands, did they fall to the... No, they actually joined the Allies. Okay. Alright, shit's a shame, so we can't take that for ourselves. Are you hitting all these states? Yeah. Maybe I need to, need to re-add her in, because that didn't look like she would actually... No, no, they are... Growing in resistance. It's probably because the compliance is not at the correct level yet. But it will, it will, it will. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that at all. Let's see. Are we growing daily? Can I cut that? I will see. I'm gonna get up to that 30, yeah, something odd percent, 38. Oh, shit, hitting the mic. Like a true professional. Building more rocket factories. Alright. Hey, we finished this one. Good. Um, just like the rest of them, just hit the infrastructure, man. Uh, so I've got, let's see, I got now, okay, so we have, let me just do this real quick, two here, two here, we're going to set up this one here, and we'll join it by the other, by the other one that we're building right now. Now, I'm wondering how much of these buildings we're actually killing. Like, oh my god, we're losing like insane amounts of bombers. I think I shouldn't just fly there with any of my other missions. My strategic bombing missions are just killing themselves, so... Let's stop with strategic bombing. I'm no longer seeing the use of it. And spy planes, it's fine. Like, this is a extra wing I created for the whole purpose, but... If you're not part of an army, I don't think I want you to fly anywhere right now. All in. 
Yeah, that works for me. Okay, we lost one boost, that's bad. How did we lose one? Look at the fact that I have been, been pushing him pretty, pretty brutally. It does mean I need one more train one. Lower priority one, oh, there we go. Yeah, nothing much is happening really right now. Like, I'm apparently I lost a large amount of manpower also through the aerial war, but let's see, Spain has. Let's see. A insane air force with four thousand fighters. Yeah, I cannot really stop that. I don't really want to. I even want to try to be honest. Let's see, Portugal has heavy fighters. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. Because you don't see that a lot. Alright, so America is trying to invade everything at the same time. That's pretty good. Not allow all allow them to do that. <laughs> don't have any influence on it, but um. Alright, let's, uh, I'm not gonna spend the, uh, thing on it, the, uh, experience, because I actually need someone to make some of these ships properly working. They've got some successes with these naval landings, so that's pretty good. Um, because I think my scout aircraft are also providing with good information. You know what I probably should be building somewhere? I don't, oh, right, yeah, for me it doesn't really matter, I think. Oh, we have more in the location, so let's open that one up. Let's move one down there. Okay, we got another Dutch group landed here. With modern tanks, because that's the Dutch way. You could just theoretically just drive. Oh, and apparently my missiles are just laying on the ground there. That's not how it's supposed to work. Good to work, you damn bastards. Go boom. We need you to go boom. I think I've got nearly everything researched that I wanted to research. Uh, there's only degaussing that might be useful, but... Uh, all or nothing armor schemes in our battleships. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna build some battleships. So, let's research some more battleships, and then I'll uh, start working on the things. I think I can actually do the... Destroyers already. Uh, we are apparently no longer of any... So, there's 944 Destroyer Hall, upgraded. This is... Yeah, so this is the 44? Yeah. Okay, that's the shield, that's correct. Anti-submarine warfare. Would you want a group of torpedo launchers, a group of anti- Oh, we need to upgrade anti-air guns before we can do that. And how, how come that my navy is not patrolling correctly? Guys, you're on patrol? What's going on? Aging at low risks, yeah, that's fine. Automatic split off is disabled. Oh, your repair priorities are not correct. We're medium. We have three zones, four groups that should be scouting in theory. What are you doing? Attach to moving to repair. Okay, we're repairing, alright, alright, alright. Fuck off, Google. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's mute you. Let me see. Alright. Apparently, uh, Google uh, was like, Hey, you called? You don't want anything, uh, buddy? No. Fuck off. Stop listening to me. Wow, these guys took a fucking hit, I guess. Let me check. Intel, Ledger, Navy. Alright, we fucked up their Navy. Good. Um, apparently, I'm no longer having any of the steel I got, thought I had. Oh, nobody is giving it away. What a surprise. Maybe I should also start closing off my economy. I already did. Great. Fuck. Uh, 
I also did get access to a lot of aluminium for some reason. Like, where's that other United States steel going? It is going to everyone, because nobody has it. Great. If I get more trade influence, would that work? Would that work? Uh, political power gain and ideology drift defense. Not really helping me right now. Uh, yeah, that actually is better. What are you doing? Democracy support, and that's okay-ish. There's nothing really else in here that's useful for me right now. Naval theorist. Uh, there's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing much that's remaining now. I think you should go over there and hit the factories. Oh, and apparently we've got full air control all of a sudden? Or they're just no longer putting up a defense. Now we are still hitting with the... Did they... What happened, man? Where, where, did, where did the Air Force go? They still 4.2k fighters, so it should be... Oh wait, and all of a sudden they're back in here? No, I think my info is not completely correct. Might be that they are nobody is sending any fighters in the air, so they're not really doing anything about it. Yeah, we got 4k over here. Apparently it's not really providing them with any benefit. Because we still hold control here. Also, I think, considering that we are low on fighters anyway, um, I might want to start building the jet fighters. Because they're just better. Uh, we'll get them over 20. I'm going to skill down production on you. I need more tungsten, that's annoying. Another reason I don't really like playing UK. Don't have any resources, that's the real kicker for me. Okay. So this naval idea that I have, right? It's not gonna happen. Because oops, that's a little bit too much. Ah you know what, we'll uh, call it future investment. Uh the reason it's not gonna happen is because uh, we're not getting any getting any. Okay, so fuck you, Sweden, I guess. Um, because I don't have any, I don't have any steel, and either I need to stop producing my complete mechanized divisions because they eat a lot of the steel to switch switch over to a naval production, or I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Uh, Russian German operatives getting captured. We're slowly making progress nearly everywhere. Uh, Dictatorial Syrian King has been pushed within its own borders. So things are dying, right? We're, we're doing great. We're doing good. It's good things are happening. It's just that. I have no real way of hitting the enemy right now. Um, I stopped producing those bombers, but it's not entirely true. I need the... Uh, Jet strategic bombers to um, bomb with the nukes. That's anti tank. I think I'm going to switch down to another five here. I still need a 180 in reserve from that. Still don't know why these are not being carried over because that would make things a little bit easier for me. Uh, artillery, let's research some anti-air. I could probably steal some anti-air from Spain if I want to do. Let's take a look at compliance map mode. Emboldened resistance, okay. Maybe we need to put another guy on that one. Put out resistance, there you go, another one. Because another operative is... Okay, so maybe if I switch you to a different province with that... Okay, that gets you 150. Good. 
And put you there. All right. And resistances are lowering everywhere. Let's take a look at occupying territories. So we got the factories. We're at 38%. Um, I don't remember showing you the, the, uh, where it wants to end up. That's a little bit annoying. Group of population. And I really would like the new regime option to be a thing, but... Seems to have some troubles, but it's not that... Oh, we're losing a lot of equipment. Oh, it's over 12 months. Let's just go for the last month, please. Oh, that's pretty cool. But we're lowering the resistance, so it's not as bad anymore, all right? All right, Spain is on the attack. All right. All right, we're just taking the Italian... Uh, Spanish African fronts. This seems to be all working out fine. Got this all defended and all nice. Ready to move. We could kill some of these guys just, just, just to make a point, just to make a statement. Capturing operatives. We didn't. Okay. Not getting any trade done. Yeah. Ooh. United States stopped trading some of its tungsten because it's also closing up its economy further and further. Let's see. What can I shrink on? A little bit on the, both of these, I think, I can take away from. And immediately, aluminium is a problem. All right, so a large chunk of tungsten. There we go. And a large chunk of aluminium. Well, there we go. That's probably too much tungsten. Somebody with a lot of trade influence is actually stealing a lot of trade away from. It's Haiti. Wow. Okay. Um, I need a little bit less of this, so let's just skimp a little bit. Might be picked up by other nations, but I'd rather do this right now and still have the factories. All right, there we go. Oh, look on equipment. Still a little bit behind. 42 days. 39 days. Okay. I don't have manpower. Oh, we're missing support equipment. Okay, well, that should be fine. Compliance is raising. With compliance going up, um, resistance should go down. Yeah, it is an, it's kind of be an issue in Russia because I'm not going to put any espionage there. Um, and I think I don't want to spend any more manpower on my garrison divisions. I might be doing that. Do I have enough for this? How much motorized do I have in storage? Not a lot. Am I not producing any motorized? Wait, it's not going up by... Two divisions are using... What? That's not correct. Does do a lot of suppression extra. Am I producing any motorized? Should be. Right? Yeah, very small amount. Well, apparently I'm, I am losing it daily though, so... There we go. That looks a little bit more balanced. Let's take a look at this. I need more steel than we did before. All right, we lost some more trade with the United States, because, yay. Can I get a trade influence guy, please? <laughs> All right, Madeline's actually likes trading with us, good. Uh, I need a little bit less of your stuff, a little bit less chromium. It should help me with my resistance growth and that kind of stuff. Yes, it sees most of most of the Russian resistance growth. Good. 
Alright, let's get that uh, stuff going in. We've got about a million people stationed now in uh, fucking Germany, but Jesus. I like these invasions from the USA, because it's the only uh, points that were, but there, where the enemy is actually losing any significant amount of manpower and equipment. <sighs> Can I see how their industry is, how damaged it is? How many factories are more damaged? They have one damaged industry factory and they uh that's they lost some bombers okay so we're not i thought these rockets might actually do some damage but apparently they're not i thought they were doing good here i was having hopes and dreams about useful stuff happening. Um, wow, that's a good landing actually right there. 40 millimeter ball force. I think we got the last one. Yeah, right there. Oh, that's All right, we got some free stuff here. Oh, great. build any ships. There is not enough steel in the world. I don't like these grindy wars. I think I've said it before like a hundred times but I genuinely despise them. Genuinely do. I think they're boring. They This is nothing I can't do really anything. I could just tell like, hey, could you just suicide yourself into this province? And then they say, yeah, sure I can. It's just gonna cost me a very large amount of map power equipment and resources. Sure I can bash through there. Right, maybe I can get across the river here. Maybe. So actually, wow, not because of what? What's what's the reason? Is that river crossing penalty so bad? Yeah, it is. Even though the troops that are stationed there are pretty poor. Okay, we actually did we break through? No, we just stopped the attack. Okay. Look, seriously, I've got 24 fully equipped divisions attacking. It's just not happening. What the hell? This is just... Boring. Because your troops are all green. Yeah, I know. What can I do about them? Train them? On the front line? Yeah, you know what? Let's just waste some more equipment and train them. Because they're all green. And this is all due to attrition. Now, I did believe I gave them um, the... Yeah, so that should help. Still, it's pretty, pretty poor. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll start recording again when some progress is made. See ya.